Hi traders, Chris Buss here with your midday update on the markets for Friday, January 29th. Okay, we've had a busy morning, but I did want to uh, get you out a um, an update here at 1.15 as I start the video. SPY two hour, we got the breakdown that we were kind of anticipating. We filled this gap. We broke this key support at 373. And now we've penetrated this January 28th pre-market low that we had talked about at 370, which coincides with the 50 EMA. Um, now in the afternoon here, we're going to have to see if they save it right into the weekend. Keep everybody guessing. Park it right on the 50, uh, 50 EMA at 370 or if they take it down in here towards uh, 368. I would be surprised if it went any lower than that. Um, but who wants a piece of this market long into this weekend? That'll be the question. And we'll, we'll just have to see how that plays out. So I wouldn't be surprised if they, they pop it back up to 370 and park it there. And I wouldn't be surprised either if there's more selling in the afternoon to bring it down in here to 368. A um, lot of trading ops here today, guys. I hope you got some of this. I mean, each one of these levels is a place to sell. And once it lost this 374, then, you know, all hell broke loose. So we're down in here. Here's that 370 level. Um, I'll tell you how I'm trying to play this is to fade any bounces, but there really haven't been any bounces. So um, it's been an easy trade so far. Not a lot of, um, you know, scary bars to shake you out of the trade. If you did get a bounce up to 371 and you saw some weakness there, they may bring it back down. Um, but otherwise, just just stay with the trade. Q two hours uh, filled this gap, lost the channel, which is important on the two hour. So we're definitely on a sell signal here on the two hour. I will look over the weekend as far as a daily sell signal. I believe we are below trend now on the daily. Here you can see we've got a support layer at 312 and then uh, another gap here at 310 I I mean it's hard to say there's been some intense selling hard to say oh they're gonna stop here they're gonna stop there but uh, there are gaps below that need to be filled and it just depends on how many you know how many motivated sellers are there into the weekend it's hard to tell here's the um, 30 minute view you can see here was that January 28th pre-market low that we had in our crosshairs and that worked out perfectly. And you can see we're right here at this gap. And uh, we'll see if they can um, uh, stop it here. But a uh, lot of very objective sell locations along the way. And if you took those pre-market notes and had those levels marked, you had a lot of chances. IWM has not been that bad. Uh, as I mentioned in the uh, pre-market notes I did take a short here on IWM at 207 I am in the February 5th uh, 206 puts uh, just to say I'm in it I'm not in it big uh, like I said this has been held up a little bit by all that GameStop crap but I wanted to have a, a, a uh, anchor point here on those trades uh, and just for your information, I'm I'm in the futures on the Qs, so I've been trading that today here. Um, so I am short on the QQQ. 30-minute chart, you see the breakdown starting to fall away now a little quicker. Facebook has been an absolute gravy train. I hope to God, if you were focused on this, that you got this. Been an easy trade, straight down, broke the levels that we were looking for. Filled the gap, lost 260, down here to 255. 
I can't say if it's going to stop here. Normally, I would say expect a bounce. But if it loses 255, it could be a freight train down here to 246. Uh, that seems a little bit ridiculous. But just play it, play it um, level by level. You know, if it loses 254, you don't have to imagine where it might go. All you need to know is that it broke an objective level. And if you had gotten short anywhere up here, just stay short um, and see where it goes. Apple, again, lost all these key levels straight down. Now it's below 131. It's definitely a failed breakout. And uh, now we're back down in the soup. So I would imagine, you know, if they can't hold it here at 131, you're looking at 128.50 is your next level of support. Tesla, I took a trade on this, as we discussed in the morning uh, note, on the break of this 800 at the bottom of the box, I got an 800, 725 put spread for next Friday. Uh, just one, not gonna go crazy. Uh, that's an expensive contract, that was $22, but $22 of risk for $75 of uh, potential gain. It's over three to one. So breaking this box, given the, you know, the market conditions, I'm hoping that it fills this gap down here to uh, 750 at least. That'll make it a nice winning trade. Uh, broke down, came back up to revisit the crime as it often does, and now has fallen away to a certain degree back down here to 1790. So my stop is just above here at around 805. I took the trade at around 800. So uh, that's my stop. Microsoft uh, is down 3%, but uh, filled this gap. A lot of opportunities if you wanted to, you know, play this to the short side. Really anything today, just because of the market conditions, if you got short at any point in time on almost any chart, at least on the fat man names, you are good to go. And I hope you, whatever you were focused on, uh, has been working for you. Uh, Amazon is one that has held up very well. It's only down 1%. And I think the reason for that is earnings on, on uh, Tuesday. Um, so, I mean, if you, if you shorted this reach up candle at the open, you know, that was good for 40 bucks or something like that. Not dramatic, but still a winning trade. Uh, we'll have to see in the afternoon. If you are short, just stay short against 3200 And if there's some kind of flush and it gets down into this gap, you could, uh, you could easily see uh, 3150 or 3120 if it decides to fill the whole thing. Uh, Google, uh, it's down 2.5%. Uh, it has earnings as well next week. I don't know if that's why it's holding up a little bit better. But uh, if you'd gotten short, you know, up here, you still have a nice winning trade um, uh, for the rest of the day. I think down here to 1800 will be a test. I would imagine that would hold. Netflix. Uh, again, not bad. I mean, down a percent. So it's sitting here on the top of this gap. If it gets gnarly this afternoon, I would look for 5.30 to go ahead and fill down here another five or six bucks. Um, again, you still had a winning trade, but most of the action has been in Apple and uh, Facebook and uh, to a certain extent, uh, Tesla and um, uh, Microsoft. Uh, really quick update, guys. I don't mean to, to rush through, but I've gotten a, lo a lot of nice compliments, DMs, uh, little notes along the way today. You know, how well the levels have been working. And um, it just, it's a testament to being ready for anything, having your levels ready, having your little crib sheet of notes. Um, handy and uh, and being ready to pull the trigger on the 
on the instruments that you like to trade or that you're you know ready and interested to trade and then um, uh, the market does what it's going to do and then you react from there but today it's been an easy trade I mean like I said there haven't been a lot of whipsaw candles to shake you out so hopefully you're finding it uh, some productive trading some easy trading uh, stay uh, you know stay short until there's a reason to get out um, I will tell you I closed some of my longs the uh, GW Pharma the Jamia um, some of the other names I just didn't see a point of you know hanging in those longs and you know just taking the pain and taken away from these short positions um, you know as they go down of course your longs are going down too so uh, we can re-enter those once the market stabilizes I, I don't think this is over I think things have been overcooked for a while so I wouldn't be surprised if there was some follow-on selling on Monday because remember what they say bad selling never ends on a Friday I wouldn't be surprised if there was some flush move um, Monday, you know, once mom and pop and everybody over the weekend figures out that, you know, stocks don't always go up, there may be some follow on selling on Monday. So I'm not telling you to load up short heading into the weekend, but you may want to, you know, leave, leave yourself some runners on your positions. I would, at the end of the day, I would roll down you know, to even money on your strikes. Take that money off the table, whatever you were able to garner today, take that money off the table. Uh, leave yourself some runners at the money for next week in the instruments that you're trading. And then you'll have a marker. If there's some kind of flush move on Monday, you'll be in it to win it. If they, you know, hold the line, no harm done, right? I would be shocked, absolutely shocked, if after this selling today, there's some massive, you know, bounce right out of the gate on Monday morning. So I think your downside is limited from the standpoint of having a few uh, well-placed shorts at the money for next week in uh, either the indexes or the names that you, you know, that you like. So uh, that's all I got for now. I hope you're, I hope you're doing well and uh, I hope you're uh, keeping your wits about yourself and um, using your levels to your advantage. So um, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button and the alarm bell and you'll get these notices uh, throughout the day and certainly every morning to set you up to win during the day. And um, we'd be glad to have you jump over in the show notes. You'll find links to register for my content and the blog site. Uh, we'd love to have you join. And uh, I'll send you an invite link to the traders room uh, where we've got a lot of aspiring traders all pulling in the right direction, helping each other. Uh, it's been nice in there today. People finding, you know, setups and and keeping each other on their toes with uh with uh, observations in the market. It's, it's been great. So we'd love to have you. So until we talk next time, have a good rest of your trading day. Keep rolling down. Keep, uh, keep taking that money to the bank. And if there's some big, you know, ripping bounce into the close, you'll already have your money in the bank and you won't get clipped too bad. So, uh, keep that at the top of the top of your mind. And, uh, uh, be ready for the rest of the day. Thanks. This has been Chris Buss with Traders Profit Compass. Talk to you next time.